Hey guys, you may have heard of Euler's identity. He's pretty famous for this, but he also came up with another one. F plus V equals E plus two. Let's talk about this one. F stands for faces, V stands for vertices, E stands for edges, and then two is just two. What does this mean? If we have a 3D figure, this right here is a face, this is an edge, and this is a vertex. So if we look at this shape right here, how many faces does it have? We have the one on top, the one on bottom, and then the four around the end. And if we do the same thing for vertices, if we look at the top of it right here, it has one, two, three, and four vertices on the top. And then if we look at the bottom of it, there's another four down there. So we have eight vertices in total. Next, let's count the edges. On the top, we can see there's one, two, three, four edges. And if we look at the bottom, we can see there's another one, two, three, four on the bottom as well. And then around the middle of it, we have one, two, three, four. So we end up having 12 edges in total. And then two is just two. Six plus eight is 14, and 12 plus two is 14. So the number of faces plus the number of vertices equals the number of edges plus two. How exciting. And this will work for any polyhedron. A polyhedron is any three-dimensional figure made up entirely of straight lines. So you guys want to do this one? For the faces, we have one on top and we have one on bottom. So we have these eight around the, which means we have 10 faces. So next for the vertices, up on the top here, I can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vertices. And then when we flip it over, we have eight more vertices on the bottom. So that means we have 16 total vertices. Last, let's count the edges. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges here on the bottom. We have one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges around the middle. And then we have eight edges on top. So we have a total of 24 edges. And then we just add two to this. 10 plus 16 is 26. And 24 plus two is 26. So the formula is true. And this will be true for any polyhedron. How exciting.